Hello and man here, welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 on the 36X Spring Creek map. Since last episode, I finished uh, plowing up on, uh, what do we call this field? This is a brand new uh, section we are farming over here, 291, 290, and 289. If you look at the field now, and you can see we've got ourselves a nice, large, square-ish uh, field here at this point. Got all the little bits and pieces and strips and, you know, whatnot all plowed over. Hopefully we didn't uh, miss anything that I know of here. And uh, the, the whole field, I believe, has been plowed here at this point. So uh, what I did, Evan, is I just plowed, like, everything that needed plowing, and I didn't bother plowing anything else here so far. Because, uh, again, like I said, as far as I know, the status of this field is plowed. Now, let's, I'm wondering, like, 289. Is 289 not? Wait for this. Uh, oh, 289 is not. Oh, that's kind of a bummer. I mean, well, we might end up plowing it all anyway. Uh, and if we do that, we'll have to see once here. But I want to work on uh, purchasing the uh, soil information here for this uh, field for starters. So let's go to our precision farming here. We need to uh, purchase the soil information for that. That is going to cost us... Ho, ho, ho. Oh, 229,000. Now, mind you, I wonder if, you, if there's any volunteers out there that want to go ahead and manually soil sample this, let me know. I'll uh, I'll get you hooked up with that, you know. Um, yeah, I don't think anyone out there actually wants to, like, manually uh, soil sample this, is there? That's kind of a weird spot down there. Anyway. Let's see anyone's here. What are we looking at as far as, like, nitrogen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll be fixed when we plant. Uh, lime wise though, that's well, let's just walk out there and say, uh, take a look, Evan. Uh, that, that's what I keep saying, by the way, when it comes to lime, Evan, you pretty much have to go out there and look. I mean, yeah, you can look at the map, and from the looks of the map, I'm going to guess the field needs lime. With that being said, Evan, you can also see the field has just been limed, so like it doesn't seem like it should need to be limed, but uh. Uh, pH value is bad. Yeah, that's what I kind of suspected, everyone. Which is kind of annoying, because, I mean, you can see it's, it's cl clearly been limed. But, uh, clearly it, uh, needs lime. So, oh well, is what it is. We will need to, uh, lime that, uh, field. Uh, once we do that, then we'll probably plow it. So, let's, uh, let's get the lime spreader going here. Uh, we're only into the month of November here. I'm gonna didn't bother skipping time a whole lot. Uh, we've got a couple other things we need to do before we, uh, skip time too much more. Um, and, yeah, well, yeah, let's take care of the lime here first, and we'll, uh, we'll get to that, so. Hmm, I'm gonna have to take out, like, another, uh, loan here just to, uh, probably lime this field, I bet, Evan. This is probably gonna cost a small fortune. Folks, wanna place your bets how much you think it's gonna cost to, uh, lime this field? Place your bets. Place your bets. See, this is the field, right? Yeah, yep, right here. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's see once how long it takes to uh, generate a course play course for this. It shouldn't take too long, I won't think. I mean, we're a pretty uh, pretty square field here, so let's unload that. Uh, let's just see if we can uh, do this real time here. One headland. Uh, again, as I've said before, I've been, typically headlands are what really add to your uh, course play generating time. We might want to do a little plowing here. I see a little nick there and a little nick there. Hmm, might go fix those yet. But yeah, that wasn't too bad, one. Um, so yeah, if I was to increase the number of headlands, that would most likely increase our, uh, generating time by a fair amount. Slightly annoying that, uh, fields are even lined. Oh well, this is what it is, I guess. We'll let the lime spreader go on that one. And if we check our map now here, well, it probably hasn't updated a whole lot. Oh, actually, you know what? There it is. I don't know if you can see it between the blinking there and the tractor. Got a little bit more uh, green right there. Actually, you know what? That's kind of me standing in the way, too, isn't it? Let me, let me uh, move here a minute. There we go. Nice. Yep. Also, still uh, still definitely uh, recovering from the illness there from uh, last week, Evan. Uh, for those of you who watched last video, talked about it then. Uh, if you didn't catch it there in the last video, but uh, last week, came down with a good old uh, stomach flu, or it could, it could be food poisoning too, I suppose. I mean, I don't know exactly which one. I am going with it most likely probably was some sort of stomach flu. Uh, for one thing, it's like going around in the area quite badly. Uh, so that's, that's most likely what it was. Plus, it doesn't line up with like any necessary food event of any sort per se, or, which I, I, I've been told it 
guess food poisoning doesn't necessarily need to. I always thought, you know, food poisoning, typically, if you get it, usually it happens, you know, fairly quickly after eating, you know, whatever, you know, whatever wasn't good, right? Okay, so, let's, uh, yeah, you know, got some stuff in the shed. Looks like, mm, I don't know, what do you call that a good-looking shed? Eh, you know, it's got red and blue and yellow, it's, I don't know. Debatable. Anyway, uh, we got one other thing we need to work on here, and this is the reason why I didn't skip time a whole lot of them, because fields 383 and 384, I think, have weeds on them, right? Didn't plow these fields. At least I didn't plow 383 anyway. Yes. These fields both have weeds on them. So we need to do something about that, everyone. And, of course, we're, uh, we're running with Precision Farming. It has the weed map here, so, you know, we got some scattered weeds. We don't have an entire field of weeds, Evan. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and invest in, and we'll probably have to borrow some money. Well, actually, we might have enough. We'll see. This is going to be close. We are going to invest in uh, the sea and spray here, if I can find it. No, it's not that one. Where is our uh, sea and spray sprayer? Thought that was under crop protection, wasn't it? Is it not? Let's see once here. Where is our tobine sprayers? At least I'd rather thought I was going to be uh, using some uh, sea and spray here, one because that should. There we go. There's our. Uh, there's that one. Is that the only one we have? There should be. Uh, yeah, it's 28 foot booms. Rather not go with the toe behind if we don't have to. Am I uh, am I missing it here of one? That's a what is it? A John Deere. Hmm, it's a good question. Uh, I could have swore I had a self-propelled. John Deere seeing spray sprayer here, but I am definitely not seeing it. And as far as I know, the, the John Deere's are the only ones I know of that have that. Unless you folks know of another one that uh, I think I've asked before. I, I don't think anyone has ever really said of any other uh, sprayers that have seeing spray on it. So, I guess the toe behind is what we're going with. Kind of annoying. And yeah, good thing we can crank up the working speed. Even with this, though, we're not going to crank it up that particularly high. There we go. 13.1. Still seems a little slow. Sea and spray, yes. That is something we definitely want here. Uh, wheel setup standard. Yeah, that should be fine. Narrow tires. Yeah, narrow tires probably actually be better. Wheel brand, trailer board. Yep, yeah, uh, I think we'll, uh, we'll go with that. Wonder we'll just uh, speed this up and buy two of them. That sounds like a good idea there, if you ask me, Evan. Okay, well, let's uh, grab some tractors to pull this with here. New Holland T8, sure. I believe I got two of these tractors, so that should work out uh, pretty good. The other one's probably on the other uh, planter yet in the shed, most likely, so. Okay, yep, there they are. Perfect. Definitely would have uh, preferred self-propel them, but at the same time, too, these are cheaper. And we can run two of them. It should uh, double the... Or double half the time, right? Yeah, half, I was going to say double the time. That that better not happen. Probably won't, also won't quite half the time, unfortunately, but, yeah, you know, well. Now, let's see if we can get these things to fill up over here, bud. The whole, uh refill in this episode has not been going particularly well as you folks have probably noticed here the struggle has definitely been real over here oh, you know what? I think I do have some spray in here don't I yes I do okay cool okay going back to look here because uh, I declare am I losing my mind now I thought we had a sea and spray self-propelled sprayer no no comment on the losing my mind part of it that's you know <clears throat> anyway uh, weed spots. This actually is not the one I am thinking, but this one does have sea and spray on it. How much does this hold? Direct injection, 170 gallons. 
adds more gallons to it, so why not, right? Might just actually uh, look into purchasing that as well here, one. Nope, definitely not that one. That actually might be the one I'm thinking of. John Deere 4940. I know it's not the 40, uh, the 4045. I mean, I know it's not that one. It is a different number, and I, the number is escaping me at the moment, so it's probably that one, the 4940. That is, I think that's the older uh, numbers, if I remember correctly. How much money we got? 141,000. Let's, uh, how much does the... Actually, let's just go back to this, and we'll find the correct piece that way here. Sprayers. Uh, there's the booms. Actually, you know what? Uh, combinations. Yeah, they're 195,000. Okay. Little pricey, but I might still go that route, Evan. I'll spray the other field here with this one. Or maybe we'll, uh, yeah, we can do that this time as well, I suppose. Ah, uh, still debate. Like the idea of self propelled Evan, especially if you're running course play and stuff like that. Although with the size of these fields, I mean, it probably doesn't matter a whole lot. I mean, not a whole lot in the way. We'll start with the uh, small field here first, by the way, and we'll uh, move on to the bigger field next. And the reason why, the way, why we're investing into a CN spray one, last time I sprayed these fields, I don't remember how much it cost, but I remember it cost an absolute bloody fortune to uh, spray herbicide on these fields. So... I think we could probably safely pay for these sprayers, hopefully with just like the cost or the cost savings of the spray, right? Because again, uh, the, the cost of the spray last time around, everyone, well, like I said, it was uh, it was astronomically brutal. And again, I don't remember what the number was, but with that being said, I am thinking. Well, we should probably do something about the money, I mean, because I don't think we have enough, unfortunately. So we're gonna. Um, let's just get another million dollars. You know, just borrow another million. Make sure that actually is a million, not like 10 million or something like that. Uh, period, five years. Monthly repayments. Uh, you know what? I don't want to do 10. 10 years. Interest rate doesn't change. Just changes our payment amount. Special redemption, yeah, no, we're, uh, we won't be doing any special redemption here yet. I think, what did I, oh, I did 60 on that one, didn't I? Okay. Probably have been smarter if I would have put a little bit longer time on that one. That way we don't have to pay as much back quite as quick. Because, again, uh, it'll be, uh, like this, uh, fall before we start seeing any, uh, money from any of our harvests here, so... Fairly certain, though, uh, once we have the money, I mean, we could probably pay off the loans we have. I mean, we got $3 million worth of loans at the moment, so... You know, not too bad for, uh... Farming Simulator standards, right? That is the, uh, the max amount of loan you can take uh, from Farming Simulator. Uh, assuming you have enough land. And, uh, as I've said before, I mean, as far as I know... And I know some of you folks in the comments said, uh, you think equipment matters on this one. I don't think it does, because it seems like the only thing that seems to matter I mean, is land. Like, when you buy land, that seems to be when your loan increases. The amount you can borrow. Like, you're going to buy equipment, I won. And I have never seen the loan amount actually increase from buying equipment. So. Little, uh, you know, pro tip there. Like, if you're going to borrow money to uh, buy land or equipment, I won. And you want to do both. Buy the land first. That way you can borrow more money. And then, you know, with that money, then you can buy the equipment, right? Don't buy your equipment first, because if you buy your equipment first, well, you're not going to be able to borrow anymore. It's not going to increase the amount of your loan that I know of, unless Giants changed it. Well, maybe they did, but it's always possible. But uh, assuming Giants didn't change the loan system, everyone, buying equipment won't make the loan any bigger. So again, buy your land first, then buy your equipment.
What are we, still 97% full on this? Can you imagine how much we would have used if uh, we weren't using sea and spray? And of course, by the way, uh, you'll probably just run the one tractor here for this field. Once we get to uh, the other field here, uh, field 383 of them, that's when we'll uh, fire up both sprayers for that field. That'll probably end up happening off camera here. I'll try to get that uh, field done off camera. And we'll uh, probably come back next episode. We might see if we can get into some spring planting here next episode. Maybe look at uh, skipping the rest of the time through winter here. Not a whole lot else uh, going on. Once we get the weeds taken care of here, I mean, it'll work pretty good then. Limes going on uh, fields uh, 289, 290, 291. And once that happens, we'll probably look at uh, throwing a plow or two on it. Probably emphasis on the two part on that one, everyone. Maybe see if I can uh, borrow or buy another plow or two here. I think we got enough large tractors we can pull some plows with. Turned a little too much on that one there. I will have to say, but I, I think this uh, sea and spray uh, technology, and I know there's a couple other different uh, technologies out there as well that kind of uh, compete with this. I know like the Weed It system, which I believe is the one Welkers have. Uh, sea and spray is, I think, John Deere's system. I would say I think it is a pretty cool system. I mean, the, the whole concept of this. Uh, you know, you're very curious, at least on my part, and you're having to see what's, how this works over the next uh, couple years. Hopefully see some farmers starting to adopt it here. And uh, like I said, if it works well, uh, I would imagine you would see quite a few farmers adopt this one. Because again, uh, the cost you would hopefully see from spraying chemicals on your field should be pretty good. Uh, again, it's probably going to depend on what kind of weeds and how many weeds you have in your field. But, but yeah, if you can uh, reduce the number of chemicals you're using, everyone, well, that's just kind of a win-win there if you ask me, right? Fewer chemicals, more cost, or I say more cost, but or more cost savings. Donny folks, uh, brain is still fried here from last week yet, so stop right now. About a half a watt here, or something, <laughs> and quite literally too, probably having from the uh, food, uh, um, the lack thereof, almost. Yeah, we'll call it that. Lack thereof of food. Just a reminder, by the way, if you haven't already clicked that uh, subscribe button, don't forget to do so. Always very much uh, appreciated. And don't forget to, if you'd like to uh, join us in on the R.D. Allen multiplayer servers, you can find that information down below in the description here of this uh, video. Again, anyone is welcome to join as long as you can uh, play nicely, follow the rules. And we ask that you please join us in on the R.D. Allen TeamSpeak server. Again, that R.D. Allen TeamSpeak server information is down below in the description here of this video. Also, got a comment here on this uh, last pass we just made. I'm like, how many times have you folks seen the sprays actually turn on? I, I, I've seen them turn on a couple times here, but there's not been a whole lot of on action here from this one. So, I have a pretty good section of weeds coming up here, but... You know, we made it all the way around the field, I mean, 93%. I bet we can probably spray this entire field. It'll be real close anyway, without needing to refill. We'll definitely be able to spray the entire field 383 without having to be able to refill that one, because we'll throw that on a hired worker. Hired worker won't need to re be refilled, so. Okay, GPS. Let's turn you on auto with. Actually, let's get a heading here first, then we'll auto with that. As I noted here on last episode of one, this map isn't exactly straight to the world here, unfortunately. North and south, and well, actually all the directions are turned ever so slightly, so, oh well. At least I'm assuming it's turned and all. Is east and west about straight? 
No, yeah, because if you look at one, I'm on the edge of the road right down here. Up here, we're, you know, we're up a fair amount, so. Probably do the same thing. So, yeah, we're on the edge of the road up here. You can probably see that one a little better than one the other one. Almost right to the edge of the map up there, one. You look down at this end, got a pretty good gap, right? So, entire map is turned slightly. Makes the GPS kind of annoying, but oh well. I suppose what I could do, Evan, uh, is create a couple actual GPS courses that are turned ever so slightly. You know, I don't know, one degree, two degrees. Not sure what it would take. Probably not much, but. Anyway, let's head over to the uh, comment section in a moment, see what you folks had to say here for last episode. And as a reminder, too, I enjoy reading all you folks' comments. Uh, so, again, throw the comments uh, down below. Obviously, this uh, past week, I, went, I didn't get a whole lot of chance to read some comments. Uh, in fact, uh, I think I mentioned in this last video, I didn't even get a chance to really watch much of YouTube either. Normally, if I get, like, really sick, I, mean, I like to sit in my chair, grab my iPad, and I'll watch some YouTube videos. That didn't even happen last week, so to give you folks an idea how sick I was, I wasn't even doing that. But anyway, we're back here this week, reading comments, watching videos. So again, throw a comment down below if you haven't already done so. Always enjoy reading it. Uh, starting off with the first one here, Solid Spoon. Uh, you can also copy a course play by pressing the little button on the bottom right of the course play menu and switching to a different tractor and pasting it so you don't have to save the course every time. Uh, yes, I actually did that here. Oh, I don't remember what job it was again. We actually just did that. Works pretty good. So you don't have to save the course. I don't know if there's really an advantage uh, one way or the other on that one, but... Uh, Hatcho was saying, glad you're feeling better. Good video. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Christopher was saying, good video. Keep it up. Hey, thank you very much for that. Uh, Mason was saying, glad you're feeling better. I thought you were in jail for the blue equipment stunt. I believe the last time you missed a week of recording was Madison Creek back in Farming Simulator 19. Which has made its way into Farming Simulator 22. Oh, back in 19, huh? That's probably, uh, yeah, that's probably actually the last time I've been sick enough that I couldn't, like, actually make a video of it. Uh, Mason was saying that uh, the section will probably need lime because the map... AI lime map AI limes it doesn't seem to count as precision farming lime. Best of ideas to keep the uh, field on the same lime level. Uh, Genesee County was really screwed up non-straight map. Uh, yeah, so the AI lime does not count as precision farming. Now it probably counts if you're not using precision farming then I bet. So, like, if I wasn't using precision farming, I mean, the lime on this field probably would count. But because we're using precision farming, then that lime doesn't actually work, which... Yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. Oh, well. What are you supposed to do, right? We'll, uh, we'll lime it. It's gonna cost a fortune. Oh, speaking of which, uh, can we look the cost of this up at all? I wanted to see if we could see this number or not. I, I, again, I don't know if we'll be able to see the number or not on this. Eh, that was probably not gonna help, is it? Watch where we're going here, man. We're almost to the end. So, November, vehicles, yeah, okay. The vehicle running costs, fertilizer cost. That should be the lime, correct, everyone? Or is there actually a lime one here? It's miscellaneous. Watch where we're going here, whoops. Look at our spray usage, by the way, 91%. Like, we haven't even used 10% of our spray yet. We're, I don't know, probably, yeah, probably not halfway done with the field, but... Actually, we might be about halfway done. You folks don't realize how much a headland uh, finishes on a field when you do a headland pass. If you don't believe me, just uh, do a contract, do a headland, see how much of the contract you finish with one headland pass or two. <laughs> Uh, moving on to the next comment here from Solid Spoon. Good video. Keep up the good work. 
Have you thought about your next map? Nope, I haven't uh, haven't considered any next map yet, but I figure we're probably going to be on this one at least for a few more episodes yet. PJ Dava was saying, love this uh, video so much, I had to hit the like button. Well, hey, <laughs> I like the sounds of this there. Just a reminder, I mean, if you like the video, don't forget to give her a little thumbs up there. Always very much appreciated. Uh, Joseph was saying, I just got field 383 cleared of sugar beets and plowed from field 383 all the way to the edge of the road and then to the edge of the map at field 390. Ah, 390. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. So, uh, Joseph, did you like make this entire thing all one field here then? Is that what you're saying? Or do you just got all of this done? If I read it right, it sounds like you might have made this all one field. I'll wait for him to confirm that, though. If so, good for you. Don't think I want to farm it. That sounds like a little too much there, if you ask me. I can check the uh, bank here again. I want to see what this is at. Okay, that number is going up. Fertilizer cost. That has to be the lime, everyone. Because, uh, uh, again, this right here we, we took from our silo. So this didn't this doesn't cost us nothing here. So fertilizer cost there is the lime. Probably not that much yet. You know, almost 9,000. Are we around all the way around the field yet, though? Oh, yeah, okay, so Corsley's made it all the way around the field here. I don't know where Corsley went to, but... Oh, he's down there. Probably going down there somewhere to start. And actually, you can see the sprayers working here in the sun like that. Got a move the camera on. There we go. Now we can actually see them working. Even though it looks like you have like almost solid weeds here, it's not like constantly spraying. You can definitely tell when we get into those patches. It definitely uses a little bit more. I'm like, we were 91% a moment ago. Now we're down to 86. Give you an idea, you know, if we were uh, spraying weeds this thick all the time. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we'll easily be able to finish this field without having to refill that one. I'm betting even uh, this field, that one, we could probably get quite a bit of this done here, especially with two sprayers going without needing to refill it. Again, at least for myself, I'm not, I just find that impressive. So, and this is pretty much... A, how it works in real life. You, again, it's going to depend on how much weed pressure you have in your fields, everyone, but I don't know. I, th I think this is definitely one of the more promising uh, aspects out there when it comes to, like, the precision farming part of this. You know, the whole uh, variable rating is pretty cool there as well, but I don't know how much, like, actual savings there is in that. Although, yeah, I, I guess, you know, there, there's... Yeah, most farmers say there's pretty good savings in that as well, because, again, you're only putting down what is needed, right? Same concept when it comes to spraying weeds here. Anyway, on that note, with that, I'm gonna, I think we're going to wrap this episode up here. If you folks have any comments and or questions, be sure to leave them down below. And as always, Evan, thanks for watching. Until next time.